Slip and fall law is a subset of personal injury law. In slip and fall cases involving premises liability, the premises owner has a duty to keep the environment reasonably safe for invitees. The owner's duty includes detecting and ameliorating dangerous conditions. In Toma v. Cracker Barrel Old Country Store, we explore the type and amount of evidence needed for a jury to decide if an owner's failure to detect a dangerous condition was negligent. Deborah Toma was seated at a dining table at Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. Upon finishing her breakfast, Toma slipped and fell in a service aisle separating the dining and kitchen areas. As Toma stood up, she noticed droplets of clear liquid on the floor beneath her. Neither Toma nor a witness saw anyone spill liquid in the service area prior to Toma's fall, but the witness did notice servers frequently carrying pitchers of liquid across the area. After the incident, Cracker's manager inspected the area but didn't notice anything unusual. The manager stated that customers had no reason to carry beverages in walking areas because Cracker didn't offer self-serve beverages. Toma sued Cracker for negligent floor maintenance, arguing that Cracker either caused a dangerous condition or had constructive notice by failing to discover the condition for an unreasonably long period. Cracker filed a motion for summary judgment, which the trial court granted. Toma then appealed to the Florida District Court of Appeal.